हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल स्कॉलरशिप सीक्रेट्स एंड माई नेम इज मोहम्मद वकास इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई शेयर इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस एट फुल ब्राइट बाय माई फुल ब्राइट फेलोज यू कैन चेक दोज वीडियोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर फाइनली माई इंटरव्यू एक्सपीरियंस सो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल एंड लेट्स गो फॉरवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो i will share my interview experience at fulbright so when i went there there was a panel of five uh, full uh, five interviewers and uh, the first question they asked me was to introduce yourself so i told them that i that i am a uh, assistant professor at university of management and technology lahore and i have been teaching for last 7 years i have done masters from uh, university of management technology i have my bachelor's from university of engineering and technology and i love teaching then they asked me why why you want to go to united states for higher studies i was very prepared for this answer because i know about united states history i know about their constitutional history i i was i'm a very good uh student of law but i uh, i i i also want to say because i studied constitution of united states united uh, kingdom and india france canada and pakistan so i told them that i was very impressed by the constitutional history of united states and uh, i was very moved by the uh, words of the thomas jefferson that we hold these truths to be self evident that uh, god had created men equal and they are created uh, that uh, god had created men equal and they are endowed by their creator with certain inalienable rights and among those rights are life liberty and pursuit of happiness so when i told them that this pursuit of happiness uh, phrase is very inspiring for me and uh, so i was very moved by this so that's why i want to see how this uh vision of the founding fathers of united states of america uh is uh, actually in motion right now and how they uh, how it has formed the united states and i want to see this and then they asked me uh, what you will contribute when you come to uh, when you come back to pakistan then i told them that uh, uh, w- uh when i go there i will s- study their educational system their uh, uh i will observe their political system closely and i uh, i i will meet new people and when i come back i will share my experiences and i will share my when i am in united states i will share uh, my experiences from my country and i will tell them that you know how pakistani people live and how, what are our, our values what uh, what is our uh, history and i i, I will uh, uh, share my experience with the american people and also i will be an ambassador of pakistani people in uh, in united states and then they asked me what will be the actual steps that you will do so i i told them that i wa uh, i am a teacher at a university so when i come back i will teach and i will impart that knowledge that again and the other thing is that i will share my experience good or bad i hope Uh, that it will be a mostly good experience so i will share my experience with pakistani community because i am very active member of uh, my community uh, uh i am very active politically i am very active socially and uh, so uh, i am very vocal on very various issues in pakistan uh, i am vocal in very uh, uh political issues social issues in pakistan so i will be able to share my experience of american society with pakistani people and then uh, they ask me uh, when you come there when you come to pakistan will you write a new constitution because you are talking about constitution this and constitution that then i told them that okay pakistani people do not need a new constitution we just need to follow the constitution of uh, that we already have and we need to preserve the fundamental rights of the people that we already have and uh, uh, the other thing that i said them that uh, 
a uh, one person will uh, do not write a constitution if a constitution is written by only one person then it's a very bad constitution the constitution is a document which has the consensus of the overwhelming majority of a country so whatever it's in like our constitution we need to protect it of course it's not a perfect document but we need to uh, evolve it according to our needs and then they ask me why you want to go uh, why you want to study uh, control systems then i told them that our control systems so it's it was a uh, the this question is directed uh, to gauge your uh, ability to explain your technical knowledge to a non technical audience so you need to express you uh, you need to define your uh, uh, you need to define your field uh, to a layman person and you uh, you want uh, to a layman and you want to and the question is directed uh so that you can explain to a layman why your field is important and what is your field uh, eventually so uh, at the end they ask me if you have any other questions so i ask a few other questions about uh, lo uh, logistics and uh, uh, in a sense that uh, what is uh, the uh, if i choose some universities and uh, uh, and i have multiple uh, uh, admission offers then who will finally decide will fulbright decide i will i will decide so that was my experience and uh, uh, after one month i got a letter from uh, uh, fulbright that i was selected as a fulbright uh, principal uh, candidate for the next year and uh, for phd program in electrical engineering and they gave me various options and i choose one of them so uh most of all it it was a very good experience and uh, i am uh, right now i am completing my phd in university of southern california the the thing that i want to uh, the, the purpose of this uh, uh channel is that i will share not only the full uh, the scholarship secrets for fulbright but also on a broad range of uh, scholarships all over the world so that the so that my fellow countrymen from pakistan they can uh, pursue those uh, uh, they they can pursue those uh, the uh, opportunities and as well as uh, this the, i expect my audience i i want to uh, actually help the people all over the world to uh, how to pursue the scholarship of their dreams Thank you very much.